Look, we from the bottom, ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look, why? Cause we gon' make them pay. We from Man, let's 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 just jump right into that one. Cause that's really the prime time game. That's the that's the highlighted game in my thumb on, on our thumbnail for this week. That we could just jump right into that. Let me get to these okay. uh, actual factions real quick. Burbridge, if you want to drop in and uh, let us know what you think. So <laughs> while I'm looking this up, uh, Auburn does because it's through the whole schedule. Like we were supposed to start off with UCF. Right, um, right. Auburn has a new coach, right? Because I know Gus Malzahn That's is at C UCF. Right. Coaching. Okay. Burbridge coaching. I like that, but he didn't. Because they do got the coach. So Auburn has a coach from, from uh, Boise State, right? Auburn has a coach from Boise State. Uh, the, of course, the, white dude. the last um, coach, not the one that went to Washington, but this this past coach. Right. The one they had last year. He left, and he's over there at uh, – at Auburn. I didn't know who they hired, honestly. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and get into it. So this line opened up in favor of Penn State minus seven right now. As a consensus, you can catch that line at six and a half. Depending on if you are thinking and leaning towards Auburn, there are some sports books that have it at six and a half. Uh, the total opened up 56 and a half. Right now that line is at 53. Uh, Auburn Tigers, 2-0, 2-0 against the spread. They are the number 22 ranked team in the nation right now. Traveling to Beaver Stadium for what's going to be a primetime night out, taking on the Penn State Nittany Lions, which they are also 2-0 and 2-0 against the spread. Uh, week one, I did win money on those guys. I took uh, Penn State with the money uh, late during the game. Uh, thanks, shout out to Moneyline because he called that one from the, from the whole jump. That, that Penn State Wisconsin? Yeah, 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 that pin in Wisconsin. Was that one of your picks, too? I was on Wisconsin. I'm not going to lie. That, that's the week I did. Awful that first week. That first okay, week okay, yeah. Awful. Well, yeah, Auburn, Auburn, they're 6-3 and three against the spread in the last nine games. The total's gone over four out of the last five. Uh, they're 6-3 and three straight up in the last nine games. The total's also gone under five of the last five games. Went on the road. They're 1-5 against the spread in the last six games when playing against a Big Ten opponent. Uh, seven zero against the spread in the last seven games in the month of September. Fourteen and six straight up in the last twenty games when played during week three, and six and two straight up in the last eight games uh, played on a Saturday. Penn State six and zero against the spread in the last six games. Uh, the total has op gone under four six out of the last nine. They're six and zero straight up in the last six games. Thirteen and three straight up in the last sixteen games at home. 0-5 against the spread in the last five games with playing against an SEC opponent, but 5-0 straight up in the last five games in the month of September. 6-0 against the spread in the last six games when playing on a Saturday, and the unders hit four out of the last six when playing as a favorite. Uh, Penn State, as I call them, Purge State Online, taking on Auburn. Marley, how you feel about this one? What do you call them? Purge State, because I was rocking with them boys in a dynasty. And I used to call them Purge State. It was a YouTube video they had, but Burbridge know what I'm talking about. I was going to say, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, Purge State. Uh, I'm trying, I got my notes up, but I want to find one more uh, page I'm looking for. <clears throat> well, while you do that, we got the injury reports. Uh, Shivers is questionable for Auburn. Wooden, Wooden is questionable. Linebacker, he's, he's uh, questionable. Johnson at wide receiver. Undisclosed, he's questionable as well for the game. And a DB by the name of Simpson is undisclosed as well. For Penn State, Lovett is questionable. Ellis is questionable. Isaac is questionable. DN. A lot of these guys are undisclosed. So, you know, you know what I like to say to college, probably got hit with COVID or messing around with them little girls mm. on campus. No pun intended for Penn State. No point in tennis mm. for Penn State. But, uh, <laughs> Make you crazy a little bit. <clears throat> but, yeah, yeah. So, you got your notes. You ready to go? Take it over. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Right there. Just found it. All right. So, um, this, this, like I was saying earlier um, about Auburn, uh, Bo Nix, man. Bo Nix is my my only problem. And, and does for through two games. He's 29 for 39. 38 yards? Is that what I have? Oh, 300. My bad. <laughs> 383 yards. 383 yards and five touchdowns, no interceptions, and the QBR 72.7. Um, 
I, I got a bunch of stats about the receivers and the running backs, and and I can go into uh, Noah Kane and, and the Penn State offense, which I, I love the way the offense looks at uh, Wisconsin, who's supposed to be a pretty good defense. Then again, man, I'm partial to the SEC. I think it's big boy football. Uh, I think Big Ten is, is also big boy football, but it's not like the SEC. And I know I said this when LSU went on the road to UCLA and they got the ass for by UCLA. Um, but I'm not going to let that shake. I can't let one game uh, determine what I've seen for the last couple of years, and that's the SEC go dominate, bro, and that's what they do. And – I like this Penn State team. I do, but I, I don't think they're – and they may win this game. I don't think they're six points better uh, than an SEC Auburn team. Um, Auburn's no Alabama by no means. Um, but I do like uh, Hunter, uh, 17 carries, 257 yards with two TDs. You got Jackson on the outside, seven interceptions for 90 yards. They scored 61 points a game and only given up five. They haven't played anybody, obviously. And uh, Penn State has at least played Wisconsin some competition, um, but yet and still, I got to ride with Aaron in the plus six, man. Like, that's just, to me, that's just too many points. I don't think this Penn State team is going to go dominate a, a Auburn team by more than a touchdown. SEC team more than a touchdown. Like, no, nah, these big boys, he's going to have to come here uh, and, and play. Like, I, I don't think their offense is that potent. Noah Kane still coming off an injury. He got, he, you know, he's barely rushed for 100 yards. I'm talking about Penn State. Uh, 28 carries, 117 yards, two touchdowns over two games. Um, and then, you know, the quarterback, Clifford, for Penn State, he's decent. I, I haven't seen nothing to wild me. The person that does concern me for Penn State, like, SC, uh, Auburn got to keep uh, Doxon. They, they can't let Doxon kill him, you know, saying the receiver. Uh, 10 receptions, 167 yards, two touchdowns. He the key on that team, you stop boxing, you can control them. I'm still going to ride with the SEC defense and Auburn. I just don't see how – I don't think they're seven points, six points, um, six points better than this Auburn team. As much as I hate – I ain't going to say I hate. As much as I don't think Bo Nix is that guy, he is a junior quarterback. He is a veteran. He's been in these hostile situations before, so I'm not worried about him going on the road and being nervous at Penn State. Like, I'm comfortable with plus six. I just think that's too many points. Penn State might win this game, but I don't think they're seven. I don't think they're seven points better than, than, than Auburn. I don't think they're seven points better than none of the, I don't want to say top tier, but none of the good SEC teams, you know what I'm saying, which I believe Auburn is in that top five. Probably behind Bama and Florida is a little jumbled up in there with those SEC teams. But Auburn should be in that mix. Still early in the season, so we really don't know. But, um, I just think six points is too much. All right, all right. Flat top, what you got? Uh, uh, so, so Marley, so you, so, I'm sorry, so Marley, official play, Auburn official plus play, six, Auburn plus six. Month. Okay, all right, got you, got you. My yeah. bad, flat top. Go ahead. Oh, you're good. So Marley basically took everything I was about to say. Uh, it's a good. I think it's a good Auburn team. They haven't played anyone yet. Uh, Knicks is a junior. Um, Penn State obviously had that huge win over Wisconsin, but I don't think that Penn State is six points better than them. I would take Penn State money line, but that is less of a payout than Auburn plus six. I think that maybe Penn State finds a way to win this game, but Auburn could Auburn could beat Penn State, and I don't think Penn State is six points better than. Auburn, like no way. Even at Penn State, I think Auburn keeps it close, and they even have a chance to win. So Marley basically took all the stats and stuff, but it Sorry, just God. comes down to SEC is a different brand, and I think Auburn's a good SEC team, so they should be able to stay within six. So plus six, I'm riding with uh, Marley on this. Auburn should be good to go. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm gonna have to ride with y'all too. I might even take it a step and go official play Auburn money line. Um, oh, again, wow. the coach. I mean, that's it, it's a big. This this line is a big overreaction to them going into Penn State and winning. Yeah, you got to know that's yeah, a that's a that's a that's an in in a conference game. Yeah. Um, the defense played well. 
for Penn State when they went against Wisconsin. Yeah, the offense looked terrible. They got lucky on a couple of play action shots deep to number right. five. Uh, yeah. and, and, and we got to remember last year, this is the same team last year that stunk it up in the beginning of the year. Yeah, uh, they right. turned it around towards late. Auburn has a new coach that t- preaches discipline football. It's very sun- fundamentally sound. Um, and they still got a lot of guys. They got a lot of athletes, especially on that defensive line for Auburn. Uh, right. This is this is something that Penn State hasn't seen in a while. Um, they're still, you know, Auburn's still in the race, you know, early in the season. They can score a lot of points. I'm going with Auburn with the six, but I'm also take the money line, man. So, hey, if y'all want to ride with the coach, let's go ahead and get this money line. That's an easy, good, primetime victory. I just don't see Penn State keeping up with the scoring uh, for Auburn. So, the crowd on, maybe – go ahead. Your official play is the money line or – Official play the sticks and you the, the money line. Official play Auburn money line. Oh wow! All right, it'll hang in, coach. <laughs> it, 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 it is. I can definitely yeah, see this. Oh. I can see this being like 34, 34, 13, 17 type game for Auburn. Man, they gonna be a little, you know, with that crowd going into the wider. It's gonna be a little janky. In the first half, second half, they're gonna pick things up. You know, they're gonna make good adjustments. So uh, I think I might sprinkle you. You definitely convinced me to sprinkle a little bit on it for sure. I mean, James Franklin, I like him as a coach, but you know, right now, from all I'm seeing from Penn State, and I'm watching the college scoreboard that I recorded over on Saturday right now, and they're showing the highlights of Penn State. Mm-hmm. They I'm rely on that. number five. They, they yeah, rely on number five and the defense. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna take. I'm now, gonna look, go ahead and take with, that. My thing with the defense was this though: Wisconsin is not known for their offense. Wisconsin That's is true. a running power team. So, is the defense really that good, or did they go? Not to say Auburn's offense is dynamic, but they definitely have better. I personally think that this is an opinion. I think they have better athletes on the outside for sure. Mm. Um, running back can be questionable because Wisconsin puts out pretty good running back, but. Um, but as far as just pure athletes and speed, and I, I agree. Another thing you said, Auburn's D line and Wisconsin D line can be different. Big Two different, different things. Big different. And I'm looking so at like Auburn. Auburn. Auburn got that speed, boy. I'm looking at their highlights right now. I mean, it is Alabama State, but they got that speed, man. So Auburn money line, give it to me. All right, all right. I'm hey guys, be. Sure. We gon' make a way, got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay. We from the